Breaks her on the hands. And we are just about ready to go. Waddell, perfect scores. Very consistent for a six-year-old kid. He's got 1-1 one, one moto scores. And the one key ingredient here, too, is the suspension is just about non-existent. But these little guys, they're three foot nothing, weigh about 38 pounds. They don't need a lot of suspension. And they all appear to have made it through as Jason Wygant sprints through the tunnel of Gross. And he is going to pop out on the other side. And we are watching our whole shot winners, Grayson Porco out of Barberton, Ohio, the number four Yamaha ride. See if he can hold on to that. Grayson Porco. Grayson Porco. Heading into the Ten Commandments, there will be no <laughs> doubling here. I can guarantee you. These things put out about as much horsepower as a blender. <laughs> but they're still fun to ride. They last forever. They're just bullet well, You know, maybe no doubling unless they get to a braking or acceleration yeah, bump or someplace exactly. out there. I, I remember watching this when these were the premier 50cc class. And, man, I'm telling you, dads and mechanics figured out ways to, to, to make these things run super sweet and uh, get just a little bit extra edge on some of the other rides. All within limits, obviously. That's but seeing the ingredient there, yeah. <laughs> and, but seeing them double those, uh, some of those uh, braking bumps and acceleration bumps, say, 25 years or so ago was pretty cool because that was about the last time we really saw that uh, dominance of them in, in that class. Everybody started switching over to the KTMs, the Cobras, yeah, and things like that. That's a great that. point. 27 years ago, the Cobra was invented. Before that, it was this. Yep. You had the PW, you had the JR50, the Itala Jet, and that's really all you had in terms of choices. And then Cobra yeah. went to the drawing board through Davey Millsaps, Michael Lessie, all these things, and the rest is, they say, history. Yes, American made 27 years. They are still coming out with new models. They've got a 65. They've got the 50s. They've got an e-bike. They've got an, e or an electric bicycle coming. Wow. So they are all over it. Cutting edge. Cutting edge. An American made company. But Guess who's undefeated in this PW class? Well, I'm going Yamaha. To yeah, You've actually. <laughs> it's well, all Yamaha's. Man. Anderson Waddell is undefeated right now as well. It. Two one one scores, two points. So the best score you can ask for is a three. That's a one, a one, and a one. That means you won all three motos. For those of you watching at home and you're new to the sport, which you gotta figure most of the folks watching this, if this is their grandson, they've really not been around motorcycling too much. All right. And we do run three motos. A moto is a race. We're going to have three motos. This is their third time racing, and Waddell has been the man to beat. He has been 1-1 one, one both times. Porco finished second, or he sits second overall. Levi Letty sits third. Carter Shoot sits fourth, and Beckett Utz sits in the number five spot overall through two motos. See, anything can change. That one little problem by our leader, let's say he goes and finishes 10th, now we got problems. Everybody else goes up a spot. <laughs> Changes everything quite a bit, actually. But he's not going to – look at that. He's already leading again. 1-1-1 yep. one, one, one scores. Very consistent for those first three guys. 1-1 one, one scores. Porco with 3-2-2 three, two, two scores. And Levi Letty with 4-3-3 three, three scores. So the youngest, typically the most up-and-down class, the top three riders. Consistent. Just like a yeah. EKG. Boo! <laughs> we even Carter shoot back there in the fourth place yeah, position six, five, overall. 6-5-6 six, six for him going into this one. And, you know, that that's funny. We talked about the inconsistencies in all the other classes. This is one that we expected inconsistencies yeah, in. There's consistency. No doubt about it. These kids from all over America, too, which is crazy. And you can do it. You can throw these things in the back of your car. Mm -hmm. Like I had his PW last year in the back of his Jeep. You can load that thing up, chuck your kid in his car seat, throw that PW in there, and zip on down to the racetrack. Yep. Pay your 20 bucks to ride, have a great time, introduce your child to motorcycling at a pretty reasonable cost. This is where we need to grow this sport. Not lots of little 50 riders, man. They grow into 65 riders and then 85 riders. Man, I tell you, got to wonder what happened to uh, Landon Horn, the 94 machine. I don't see him. Not in the top 20. That's not sure. in the top 20 here in uh, lap number or in moto number three he finished second in moto one he took 42nd in moto two i'm going to have mm -hmm. to assume that maybe that 42nd might have taken him out of uh, complete contention. contention yeah so those little guys and one cool thing is like in baseball we go and we play on the, a tiny little field if you're a six-year-old you're playing on a field that's proportional to your size everything's kind mm -hmm. of brought in 
Not here. Mm -mm. You're going to ride this dirt bike on the same track that mm -hmm. Styles Robertson, our open pro sport, who's going pro very soon, just raced on. But they kind of smooth it out, make it a little bit easier for you. If that's an interesting point right there. You know, we, as we watch these first laps, and I always love this Racer TV first lap shot as they come down through the uh, Ten Commandments. And you notice, I don't know, but to me, that... Ten Commandments section looks so it wide. It looked 100 feet wide. It does. And I mean, you got five, six. I, yeah. We need to count how many they go, six go side to side. Way. But th can you imagine being on a 50cc motorcycle, making that big hard left hand and turn, then at those and then looking at those things? Those yeah. look like the Himalayas, <laughs> like the Rocky Mountains. Here's your top 10. It's Anderson Waddell. He has been perfect. He's won the first two motos leading up to this third moto. Grayson Porco is second. Levi Letty is third. Braxton Woodring is fourth. Ryan McDaniel is fifth. Carter Shute, sixth. Cruz Anderson, seven. Brian DeVilbis is eight. Jack Sar Saracino is in the number nine spot. And Brody Rattray, that's Tyler Rattray's son, inside that top ten. You know he's fit at age six. Should be, no matter what. <laughs> right. But I saw him at the regional. They went all the way to Michigan. Wow. Up at uh, Baja Acres to get qualified up here for Loretta Lenz. Do what you got to do, man. You get you in that do. RV and you just zip all over the country. And especially this season, man. I mean, uh, right. you know, it was uh, very critical that you go where you could, when you could, just to ensure the uh, yeah. likelihood that you'd be able to be here this week. Yeah, and they, uh, the way it all came together, not so much last minute, but just when we could make it available right. to you, you had to just sit on and go. You're in the starting blocks just like, where am I going? Am I going to Texas? <laughs> am I going to Michigan? Am I going yeah. to Florida? Wherever you tell me to go. That's the way the GNCC season has, has been as well, but uh, we've got it all dialed in, it looks like. Look at that. Uh, yeah. yeah. Porco's right there. Yeah, he is. He's not letting this one go too easy. Look at Levi Letty. At Letty actually yeah. turning a little faster lap. We've got a, a, a three-way three battle. battle. Yeah. Thundering across that starting <laughs> line <laughs> the ground pounding thundering six horsepower p-dub 50s they may put out i'm gonna go check the actual horsepower i keep saying six <laughs> horsepower i don't want to take one away from them yeah here we go there you go get on the google there uh i mean again you know uh four to six year old shaft drive class and these guys are riders are so competitive and you know we go back to the uh, idea of the stay six and the strider type bicycles and stuff like that 2.68 horsepower <laughs> you were like giving them way more horsepower wow, than they you have. got five horsepower we got to talk <laughs> something ain't right there 2.68 horsepower these things have <laughs> and they will take you right down the road i've ridden those <laughs> i things. have two a two horsepower <laughs> machine this thing has 2.68 horsepower to be precise. <laughs> Put that you, thing on the dyno. And you thought you were saying it had small uh, horsepower at six, right? Right. I said, maybe they got eight. I don't know. <laughs> my push mower, my Honda mower has nine horsepower. <laughs> right. Wow. There they are. Side by side. Look at them in stereo, Rod. Is this not the best? <laughs> and at third place, right, also trying to sneak up in there as well. Grayson Porco, did he take over the lead? For the moment, he's got it. He looks over to his left. Look at him. He's checking him out. Oh! Side by side, Porco just launches it. Uses every bit of his hey. <laughs> Bouncing his little head like Nancy Reagan, that big old head on him, man. It's tough. <laughs> that is unbelievable. I've always thought of that. These little guys have big bobbleheads like Nancy Reagan. There's the number two, or four of Porco, excuse me. <laughs> Look at that. Look, he's Look got at the style. Feet. Yeah. The feet are way up. He's got those rubber pegs all locked in. Anderson yeah. Waddell. And who's coming? It's Levi Letty, not Levi Garrett. He is coming in that number three spot. Wow, this. He, the kid out front, though, Porco is all in that tucked position. Don't want to have any drag coat. No, he's they, tucked under that gas cap. Wind resistance, none. <laughs> Can't even see over his gas cap. Look at him trying to just soak up you the bumps there. Roop, roop, roop. At 2.68 horsepower, I'm sure every little bit's going to help. It does. <laughs> it does. Two, I will never forget that. 2.68. I've always, I should have looked it up years ago. That makes the joke even better. But man, they make it work. They'll do 30 miles an hour. <laughs> That's great. Here we go we may see another pass coming on as we head into the heart of this racetrack now kevin kelly and uh, again still porco he does a quick look over to see what's going on he sees waddell he sees letty right there in the rear view as we head into the uh, big sweeper turn now to the extreme inside look, goes that's how much horsepower is on the racetrack 107.2 <laughs> horsepower total out of the 40 machines <laughs> 100 there are you put two 450s out there and have more horsepower than all those motorcycles combined <laughs> that's crazy 
that's that's nuts here we go this is this is this is exciting as well as we roll through now lap three complete grayson porco has got the riding position dialed in to zero wind resistance and that 2.68 horsepower starting to stretch things out nearly a second now over anderson waddell oh, porco out. turned a 310 that time waddell dropped to a 313 and levi letty also in that 310 Whoa, range there's a pass right there our new second place rider perhaps is it the 76 nope still waddell he i thought the 46 had gotten around and levi letty is right there jason we did wow, some research man. these motorcycles i said five horsepower no they have 2.68 horsepower there's 107 <laughs> horsepower combined out on the racetrack there are two put two 450s together more horsepower than the entire field combined <laughs> and there's the, the ages are six times four is 240 years worth of dirt bikes out there, worth of kids out there, I should say. <laughs> a little bit of fun facts for you. Then you got over 2,000 years of motorcycle. When you get in that plus 50 class. <laughs> just Carson. Just <laughs> That's three guys. That's 180 <laughs> years right there. All right, what a great race here. Porco, Waddell, Letty, one, two, and three. Woodring is fourth. Shoot is fifth. McDaniel is sixth. Brody Rattray up to seventh. Really starting to dig deep. Cruz Anderson is eight. Tate Gilmore is ninth. Roxon Santa. Wow, what is that? Let me get the rest of that name. Where is he at? Oh, uh, you're not helping me out. Santa Croce. Santa Croce. Santa Croce, like Jim Santa Croce. Roxon Jim Santa Croce. Porco, Waddell, and Letty, and they are just, they just won't leave each other alone. They're all side by side. The little man, though, Grayson Porco. You know what? Oh, not for long, Porco. He's got that hunched over. He tries to get low, cut that air. Probably giving up 10 pounds to the kid behind him, dare I say that, but guarantee you. Look at that. Well, if that's, the case, if that's the case, they say seven pounds uh, equals the horsepower. Oh, he's oh, down, to, he's down, down to nothing. To, <laughs> he's like got zero horsepower. <laughs> I'm going to argue that stat because that would mean if you weighed about 30 pounds, the bike wouldn't horsepower. move. Wouldn't right. You'd actually exactly. have negative horsepower. Yeah, I know, but that's something that you, you've heard. You always hear it. You always, sure. you always hear it's seven pounds equals one horsepower. Yeah, you always hear that, yes. Or, yep. or is it one uh, pound equals seven horsepower? What, whichever way it goes, I can't remember, but yeah. Always seems uh, a little strange. Yeah, if you remove seven pounds, it's like you gained one horsepower. It sounds like a completely arbitrary number. Porco, Waddell, and Letty, one, two, and three. There is the number four of Porco. Man, he is staved off all the attacks of Anderson Waddell. Waddell, the great, I mean, he's a giant in this class, number 46. Tried to soak it up. Ah, you're right, he's gotten around Waddell. Where is Waddell? Well, what happened oh, to Waddell? no, he's been perfect, too, 1-1-1. One, one, one. This oh. is what we talked about. <laughs> Where is Waddell, the uh, number 76 machine? Woo. Meanwhile, a big Brody there, Porco, throwing it sideways. So Porco, has two points separating Dude, himself I, I'm and Waddell. these guys have just checked out. I, I really, I'm, I'm, look at this. They're nose to tail Something coming around happen. the, the final lap been. of racing here. Or not the final lap, but the final turn here. Uh, heading on lap number four complete now. Porco and Waddell very close. Listen to that crowd. I, I think they know this is for a championship now. This thing has changed. Porco and Waddell are very close in points as well. This five, six, nine. We've lost Waddell for the oh. moment. Yeah, and that means Porco, as it stands, is your leader. But if Letty can get around, I, that still wouldn't change. So Porco could get second, depending on how Waddell does. Oh no! Yeah, we got to figure this out. We get, we got third place finally coming in now. So we were 22 seconds be, back to Braxton Woodring. Carter Shoot, 53 of Carter Shoot is in the number three spot. There's a 90 of Braxton Woodring is fourth. The 28 of Brody Rattray now to a top five finish, and Waddell, I believe, just. 76, he comes in in the number seven spot. Still waiting for our computer. Yeah, wait for that. I don't know that he hasn't tripped the transponder yet. So wow, right. look at that. Porco is already being called the, the champ. champ right now, regardless of what Waddell comes through now. Yeah, it's 1-1-8. One, one, he would have three. He's got uh, four more positions to play with there. Waddell would still get a top three Unbelievable overall. Unbelievable tough break for a little Anderson Waddell as he continues to slide outside the top three now as these riders continue to come around. Down the 13th now. Mm. 
So, wow, big day for Grayson Porco and Levi Letty. Both these riders coming out gunning, no doubt about it. You know Porco uh, just chomping at the bit. He's got that number four on his machine. Uh, if that... Uh, wow, was, uh, returning as a fourth-place finisher. Right, and that, that doesn't happen often in this 51 oh. four to six shaft drive class, but seeing that happen, pretty cool. You know he, he, he had it in his heart coming into this one to win this championship. Three, two, one scores right now. May just exactly do that for there this is. rider. I believe that's our... Waddell pushing his motorcycle through the other tunnel down the midfield, about to go out of sight of that first step Oh, up. I see it there. Ah, oh, what a devastating, heartbreaking for number 76. There he is. Yep. Oh, that just breaks your heart for Anderson Waddell. I believe that's one of the Yamaha reps from Georgia. Looking down at the bike, it's rolling. So it's not locked up. And yeah, doesn't look like he's hurt or anything no. like that. So evidently just... Uh, just a, a freak mechanical issue. And, and that's something that you rarely see on these P-dubs no, also. I mean, uh, I agree. I've never seen those things break down. Well, my son has been able, when he was a younger, he, he wrote, he rode the wheels out. Hey, Letty to the lead now, that 46 machine. What's that going to do as far as the nothing. championship? Absolutely nothing. Porco still has it and will with a 3-2-2. But bragging rights and a Moto Metal Gold will certainly uh, be uh, uh, something to take home from this 4-6 to six Shaft Drive National Championship bid here this week. Lap four in the history books, working on lap five. And as we look down at our finish line region here, we... Should be getting somewhat close. Our race clock has zeroed out, obviously, and I think that we've got checkers in hand of our finish line flagger, and we do as our leader rounds the final turn, headed for home, taking the Moto 3 victory here at Loretta Lens. Man, look, listen to that Levi crowd. Letty, going nice to be work. your Moto 3 winner. He will go 4-3-1 for the uh, overall second place position. Grayson Porco will go 3-2-2 two, two as he crosses the finish line as well after five laps of racing complete. Grayson Porco, your 51, four to six shaft drive limited national champion. And how about it for Carter Shoot? You gotta give this kid a big round of applause also. A six, five, and three. And this kid is able to pull off third place overall. But your moto looks like this. Levi Letty taking the moto win. Second place going to Grayson Porco. Third place to Carter Shooty. Braxton Woodring in fourth. Brody Ranchray in fifth. Ryan McDaniel in sixth. Cruz Anderson seventh. Beckett Utz is eighth. Ninth, Roxon. Uh, Santa Crunchy. And also uh, Tate Gilmore rounding out the top ten as we head down to the podium where celebrations are already underway, it sounds like. Yeah, we got a motor in, and they are stoked on that. We'll leave him right on up here so we can celebrate. He's got the gold medal. be careful with our movement you'd be amazed how much like moving that microphone three inches makes all the difference because we want to talk to this guy our winner levi letty <laughs> talk about that moto how'd you get it man you had to take the lead late tell me about it had to go fast and just pass them <laughs> yeah that's right you had to go fast and pass them who do you want to thank levi Brad Car Ruffin, Pro Flow, Midland Ford, Darcy Russo Mechanical, Gutter Works, OGs, Fly, Dunlap, and all other stuff. Moto X. The Moto X compound. Anybody else? Mom and Dad. What about your girlfriend? No? Yes? Who's your girlfriend? Brianna and Sissy. Brianna and Sissy, all right. Winning the gold. Let's hear it for Levi Letty. Yeah. Oh, Brianna must be pumped on that. Yeah. Okay, congratulations. Uh, we'll move the 46 bike off.
We'll bring the championship machine up, and uh, I'm going to find our third place finisher. He's got the bronze. Let's bring Carter on up while we switch the motorcycles. Good job, Carter. Okay, we're going to bring the championship bike up, but let's definitely talk to our third place finisher, Carter Shoot. How'd you do it, man? Tell me about your race, Carter. It was good. It was good. Was it hard? No. Not hard. That's what I like to hear. What are you going to do now that you're done racing? Play. Yeah! Best answer ever. Who do you want to thank, buddy? Mom, Dad, Elmore Pest Control, FXR, Club, Bray Goggles, Luca Performance, Hi Tom Motors. That's it. There it is. Congratulations to Carter Shoot, third place. Good job, boy. Good job, yeah, buddy. Carter. Awesome job. Take some pictures, get on video, and now we move the uh, number four machine to the box, and that is the championship ride, and he did it by virtue of the whole shot. Heartbreaker, though, for Anderson Waldell, who was in contention for it. Tough break for him. He'll be back. Taking it now. Stacey Whole Shot Award. Silver medal for second in the most. Smart, he wins the title. Let's hear it for Grayson Porco. Yeah. All right, Grayson, tell me about that race, man. Good. <laughs> How pumped are you right now? Really pumped. Really pumped. What do you want to do to celebrate? I don't know. Okay. We're having to sink in. Maybe some new toys. Would that be cool? What kind of toys do you like? Dirt bikes. Dirt bike toys. Yeah, exactly. Well, you got the ultimate one back there with the P-Dub. You won the title. Who do you want to thank? Mom, Dad, Bell, X Brand, FXR, Bruce, and that's it. There he is. He is wheelie pumped. Let's hear it for our champion, Grayson Porco.